President Trump said he'll be seeking more money for small businesses struggling to stay afloat. Critics say the rollout of that relief plan has been rocky. Well, late today, the president updated Americans on the effort, and our Nicole Killian is at the White House. It's this will be probably the toughest week between this week and next week, and there'll be a lot of death, unfortunately. The White House Coronavirus Task Force huddled Saturday after President Trump held a call with major league sports commissioners. They want to get back. They got to get back. They can't do this. The president opted not to wear a face mask after announcing new CDC guidelines a day earlier for Americans to use them in public. I won't be doing it personally. It's a recommendation. Critics claim it undercuts his message. He today yeah. or yesterday said, oh, I'm not going to wear any PPE. I'm not going to wear any masks. Some people will decide. And those governors foolishly will follow him. After a rocky rollout, the president also pledged more help for small businesses, tweeting his administration will immediately ask Congress for money if the $350 billion loan program runs out. This is he put more pressure on companies like 3M to prioritize N95 mask orders and prevent exports of medical supplies. The president also suggested states should primarily use the federal stockpile as backup. Our means for the country and our means for the states because the states are a part of the country. Don't make it sound bad. Amid the pandemic pushback, the president abruptly fired the intelligence community's inspector general, Michael Atkinson, who handled a whistleblower complaint that led to the president's impeachment. The move sparked outrage among some lawmakers. But in this administration, when you speak truth to power, all too often you get fired. CBS News has learned Atkinson was immediately placed on administrative leave. His interim replacement will be Thomas Monheim, a career intelligence official. Jim?